Deontay, something I think we're hearing from a lot of guys is that they seem to be excited with the way they imagine you guys will play, ball movement, you know, in the half court. Maybe you're fast in the half court, not just fast up and down. And just your thoughts on that and how do you feel about the direction you guys seem to be taking? Um, I'm happy in the direction we're taking just because um, people are counting us out. Um, and that's that's when things get get interesting when people count you out. Um, just because we have a group of, of hungry players, like we're all hungry, we we all want to win. So I feel that's that's going to bring camaraderie and going to bring us together a lot faster. Deontay, uh, you know, last year. You come in in spurts and you know be flash of the pan some games, and then other times you would, you know, not maybe shoot as well as other games or turnovers. What are some things that you've sort of went over this summer that you maybe changed your game up? Whether it's you know playing five on five, something along those lines, to where maybe you're just a little bit more consistent on the offensive end at least. Um. <laughs> How I wasn't I, I didn't have consistent minutes to like have a consistent showing. So I feel that once I get a consistent showing, um, I will play more consistent, and you will see more consistency from my play. Hey, Deontay Brandon from DailyThunder.com. So with your size and versatility, it seems like you can play every position on the court. Uh, what do you feel most comfortable playing now? What do you kind of feel like your position is? Uh, honestly, I feel most comfortable on whatever position gets me on the floor. Um, it really, I, I really don't look at myself as a, as a position. I look at myself as a player. So whatever, it, whatever coach tells me to do, I will get the job done to the best of my ability. Uh, Deontay, um, we've, uh, we've, uh, we've heard from several of your teammates about losing weight, uh, that they've lost weight during the off season to get faster, to get quicker. Um, was, that a, was that something that maybe you guys decided to do once you realized how you're going to play after the trades? No. Um, losing weight uh, started before I came to, like, Oklahoma City Thunder. Um, it started in South Korea just because the food is different. Um, so it taught me how to like eat properly because um, there isn't a lot of junk food overseas where I was at. Um, so that that started the snowball effect for me to lose weight. So we had uh, Nerlens come in here earlier and say that he thought Abdul was going to surprise people. What have you seen from Abdul's game this summer? <laughs> I've seen a lot of shots being made. <laughs> a lot of shots. It was, at one point, I didn't think he was going to miss. So he's, yeah, it, he, was re he was really cooking this summer. How has your game developed over the summer? Um, I think over the summer, my game has developed more mentally. Um, like we all put in work, but I think for me it was more of a mental, a mental development. Um, just because like I watched a lot of film um, and tried to learn from all the mistakes um, that was made last year. Um, you you talked about consistent minutes. What's something that you can do to get consistent minutes? <laughs> Bring consistent energy. <laughs> Um, just bring consistent energy, um, and a coach has to trust you before they play you. So I have to gain that trust. I have to earn that trust, and I feel once I earn that trust, then that's when the consistent minutes will come. And just along those lines, you know, you were a two-way contract player, then you, you got the, the NBA contract, though not necessarily part of the regular rotation. Just are, are you, do you feel good about your progression? Are, are you, you know, on schedule yourself as a player? I never had a progression. It was just okay. things happen. Um, 
And I just feel like the harder you work, the better things will happen. So like I put in the work and what happens from the work happens. I can't say this is going to happen, this is going to happen. It just, things just happen.